Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai, bringing you all my first. Excuse me, bringing you all my first uh, draft league uh, review. I know that was very awkward. Anyways, um, it's been a long time since I did a draft league, or since I played in a draft league. The last time I played was two years ago for my for my own draft league in my own Discord, uh, the Bushido Gang. So we had, um, sorry, my Discord we had a we had a draft league called the Bushido Gang uh, League. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was fun then. Um, I may end up bringing something like that. I mean, I may end up bringing something like that back maybe next, maybe in the, in the, in, in Gen 9 or maybe towards the end of Gen 8. Um, but, but yeah, so I'm in a, I'm in a draft league. I'm actually in two draft leagues, <laughs> which I just found out, um, a little bit, well, not, not earlier, but like a couple hours ago. Um, I've been like already setting up my mods for that other draft league. I don't know if I'll cover that one. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But that one kind of came like last minute. Like I didn't even know I was in that until until then, or until the time I until the time I found out, which was actually from somebody else. But um, anyways, the draft league I'm talking about for this video is gonna be for Little Cup. So I'm in a I'm in a, a Little Cup draft league. Uh, it's definitely interesting just to you know play with the um, play with the baby Pokemon and see how they work out and everything. Um, outside of you know their tears and whatnot. Um, it's actually for the national decks. It's not going to be for Gen 8, so there's a lot more uh, Pokemon to mess around with. So before we get started, uh, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, the Bichito Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. On my way to reaching 500 subscribers soon, we are about 15 subs away from hitting that from hitting that 500 sub goal. When we hit, when we hit 500 subs, I will start I will start streaming on Twitch. So just want to let you guys know that in advance. And uh, yeah, so my team. We're called the Washington Samurots, you know. Shout. <laughs> uh, see, I've heard the Washington Samurots. Um, so this is the team I picked up. This is my squad. Um, now, in the snake draft I was in, or in the draft I was in, I was actually last. So what? So what happens is, is that the last person in the in like the whole rotation, uh, they actually get two picks at the end. And then it just and then it just stinks back uh going back to the person before or to the person that was ahead of me. So uh so yeah. Um anyways, it was kind of tough being last because you can only get so many picks. <laughs> you can only get so many picks when all the good mons are already taken. Like Abra got taken, like the first like the first person that picked up Abra was like I mean the first person that was ahead picked up Abra. Like it it was it went by that fast. So I wasn't able to get like the best, the best of the best, but I still think I'm I'm still surprised by the pick I got. Like the first one I picked up was Diglett. Um, well, actually, the two I picked up were Diglett and Spritzy. Uh, Diglett's actually a pretty crazy one because that one is the fastest one in this metagame, uh, next to Voltorb, which is you know part of this metagame too, or the national decks. I mean, so excuse me. So um, so yeah, it's um. So yeah, Diglett would technically be the fastest mod in this meta game, um, or in general anyway for this meta. But Diglett can do a lot of different things. Um, it's got a lot of like really unique things it can do. Um, you can run like a bulky uh, rock set. You can run scarf. You could run band. You could do. You could run like berry juice. You could run air balloon. Uh, a lot of different. A lot of cool things that Diglett has uh, has access to. Um, but another, but the main attraction is the fact that it can trap things. So I knew I had to pick this one up because for one, I had no, like for one, I didn't even realize no one actually picked up Diglett. Like again, it was the, it was the first round and I was the last one and nobody picked Diglett during, and no one picked Diglett during that. So I was just like, okay, well I'm, I'm taking this mod cause it's a good mod. It's really good. So, um, so yeah, I'm happy I picked up this mod. Um, it's definitely going to be a very, uh, useful a mon for my team again providing rock providing rocks trapping things which can open up for the rest of my which can open up for the rest of my team so uh, i'm definitely happy with this mon and uh yeah so let's move on to the next one i picked up spritzy so they were so again like they were in pairs so i picked up uh, so i picked up diglett and spritzy so um i thought about those two because well for one i'm familiar with them uh spritzy i've actually i've actually had some pretty good success with it um 
this thing is actually kind of crazy offensively. Defensively, it's good too, since you can pass bushes into it, and its HP stats pretty it's pretty high, so you can actually uh, pass some fat bushes into whatever you want. So it's uh, it's decent when it comes to um, when it comes to team support. So it could definitely just apply it. You could definitely just uh, it could definitely support the team that way. Um, but offensively, though, uh, it is a very effective trick room uh, trick room setter. Um, basically, you can set up trick room for the team. Or it gets up tricking for the team or for itself and just kind of go crazy at that point. So I actually like it a lot for that. And again, that's what I that's what I'm familiar with when I used it. Um, when I use it on ladder. Um, but yeah. So like I said, this could, it has access to trick room, so you could basically just set up a trick room, tr set up trick room with it, and just be able and just be able to apply pressure with this thing. Um, you can run it with Sash, you can run it with an Evil Light, you can run it with Berry Juice, and it'll still put in work for you. Its stats aren't bad either. Like it has pretty good uh, defensive and spadef stats, or uh, good stats in its uh, defense and spadef, and also high HP. So it can take some hits. It can definitely take some hits. Um, it's a good fighting resist as well for my team, and a good dark resist. So that's why I had to pick this one up early. Um, now, if I would have picked a dark type probably before Spritzy because I would have been good for Abra. Um, but again, didn't wasn't able to, to really get it. Um, well, for one, well, that and also there were like other dark types I was thinking about outside of like Ponyard. Um, outside of Ponyard, like, I was thinking about some other dark types. But um, I was kind of too late on the ones that got picked up anyways. So I wasn't able to actually get uh, the dark type I wanted or one of the dark types I wanted because there was like multiple ones I was thinking about. Um... But yeah, I got sniped a couple times, I'm not gonna lie. That I definitely got sniped a couple times while actually trying to get the mods I wanted. Um <clears throat> I was trying to get the mods I wanted, but but yeah. So again, I'm happy with these two. These are definitely good mods for my team, and they definitely provide a lot of support. Diglett's actually actually pairs really well with Spritzy since it removes its uh, answers anyway. So removing the poison and steel type is very, very good. So this mod is definitely clutch for that. And uh and yeah. So next we have um, Natsu and Mankey. So they were for round two. Um, now I had no idea why I'd, I had no idea like why Natsu didn't get picked up. This thing, this thing is so good. <laughs> um, it's good for a couple reasons. Um, one, you have you have magic bounce. Two, it's a two it's a psychic, and three, it's also a ground immunity. But the but the biggest like takeaway from it is magic bounce. Being able to bounce or being able to bounce away hazards and also like status options or status moves is really good. Um, also, another thing I noticed, or another thing that's actually like legal in this draft league, is that baton pass is actually legal. So I can actually baton pass. Not like not like actually baton pass stats or anything, but I can just, it could just be a, a dry pass. Um, so dry passing could actually give me some momentum and such. So I definitely like that quite a bit. So now two has like three ways of momentum then in baton pass, U-turn, and in teleport. So I'm definitely uh, pretty happy with the options that this mod has. Um, defensively, it can work pretty well. Again, it's a fighting resist still, uh, even if it's not the tankiest. Uh, I mean, even even if it's not the tankiest kind of a uh, kind of a uh, psychic type out there, it can still at least get some momentum on it. Also, it's fairly fast too, so it can definitely be faster than you know stuff like Onyx or actually it speed size with Onyx. Um, but again, if you invest to its bulk, you can actually take, you could potentially take it on. Because um, Onyx is pretty weak anyway. It doesn't, I don't think it kills, well, it does a lot, but it doesn't like kill Natsu unless you get all the all the hits on it. Um, but yeah, again, good, good mod for bouncing back hazards. And again, and again, its options or its offensive options are really good, are really good as well. Again, it has Calm Mind, also has Psychic Coverage, uh, Dazzling Gleam, so you get the uh, Dark Types as well. Uh, it's got Giga Drain to hit Onyx and whatnot, and then it also has Heat Wave, which can help with the Steel types. So again, its its coverage options are really cool, or really good on this thing. I think it has Icy Wind too. Um, it does get T Wave as well. Um, oh no, it does get Icy Wind. My bad. I thought it did. What well, has Haze? But I don't think that really matters. Um, it can also Trick Room too. Like it has a lot of support options. So it's uh, it can definitely be it can definitely come in clutch for my team. Um, Especially against my opponents that have like heavy hazard setters, Natsu can definitely help with that. So, uh, so yeah. Then we have Mankey. So Mankey uh, is going to be my fighter. Uh, usually, when it comes to building in Little Cup, you want to have a fighter because like the fighters are always good. Again, a perfect example is Mianfu, which is not actually legal in this uh, in this draft league. Mianfu's banned. Uh, so that mon or so Mankey's kind of like the best option or is the second best option to it i mean there's also timber and there's um timber and there's another fighter i'm forgetting i forget the other fighter um i forget the other fighter oh yeah like much like a machop 
uh, Krogunk. Like, there's other fighter. There's other, like other. Oh, Farfetch. That's actually that's actually like a really good one too that got picked up. Um, and even like I think some of the. Well, I know Machop. Oh yeah, in Pancham, uh, Riolu. Uh, they all got they all got picked up. Um, prior I think, or it was the following round. I don't remember, but I'm just happy I got Mankey. Uh, Mankey has uh, some cool stuff going on. It's got two really good abilities in Vital Spirit and in Defiant. So Defiant, you can actually use this as a way to deal with defoggers or even just mons that want to just lower your defenses or lower your stats anyway. So this could actually help out Mankey a lot and be able to just boost his attack by times two and then just start smashing things. So it can work either being Scarfed or being like some other some other uh, options uh, but definitely scarf might be the more viable one since that gives me a fast one that can pivot out so not just not you can pivot out but also main key can as well, but also main key uh, can as well so again a good pivot and a good way of just smashing uh pretty much everything so again you pivot on the psychic you smash the dark and you even have and it also like its coverage options are crazy man this thing has so much coverage uh, it has access to gunshot shot too so you can get the fairy types as well um again it just its coverage is really good it's very very solid um so i'm definitely happy i picked this one up and i can't wait to see what and i can't wait to use like a lot of things on Mankey. so this, this is definitely gonna be a fun mod to use um but yeah again the team kind of kind of like went like kind of worked for itself so again we have the fighter the psychic and we have the dark and we have the fairy so next for round three i actually okay for round three okay well actually what's going on right now is that there's kind of a grace period and as I'm recording at this time, there's like three hours left of it. Um, basically, this grace period is a time where you could switch up your team and make whatever edits you want to make before the deadline. Um, now, I actually made this edit, or actually, as I'm as I'm recording this right now, I actually made this edit for Dino. Um, I think like a couple hours ago. Um, now, originally, I had Chimchar. I had Chimchar and Vinipede. Uh, Chimchar, I wanted it because well, I need a fire. And also, I like the options that Chimchar had. Chimchar is a very versatile mon. Um, it, the problem with it, the problem I didn't really like was that it was, like, I felt like it was a little too slow. Um, but also, it just didn't really fit with the way my team was going. So, I decided to just drop it and put Dino here instead. Um, I'm lucky, I'm very lucky I picked up Dino, or even, or just a dark type in general. Like, um, by the time the grace period had started, there were only, like, three dark types left. And it was Dino, NK, and um, and Impidimp. Oh, and also I guess Galarian uh, Zigzagoon, but that mon has like nothing really redeeming about it. So, so I pretty much decided to go with Dino, which was the best option and the mon I'm the most comfortable with because I've used this mon multiple times. Um, again, if you guys don't, if you guys like are watching me for the first time, watching this like vid for the first time of me talking about a little cup, I have, I do a lot of little cup co uh, content on my channel. And um, I did, and I did use a, uh, and I did a video with Dino, and it was putting in work for me surprisingly. Um, this thing, this thing is actually very cool. Um, it's again, it could be ran physically offense, it could be ran physically, or it could be ran specially, or even mixed. Uh, its stats aren't too bad. It's just that its speed sucks. Like 38 is not the, it's not the greatest speed on Dino at all. The fast, the fastest monster to go is like 13 speed, which is like average speed in uh, in Little Cup. Actually, I think it's below average. I think average is like somewhere between like 16 and 17. Actually, no, that's that's Mianfu speed. Six, like 17 is like Mianfu speed. Um, I probably say like I guess I guess actually 13 and 14 is like the average speed for most of the little cup mons. Um, but yeah, I decided that I really needed a dark type and Dino fit the bill. Uh, again, having a psychic community is just very good in a meta like this, where again Abra, um, where Abra, Natu, uh, what else? Uh, star you well star you's not psychic but you get what i mean um basically just psychic coverage is really good in this meta game so having a having a immunity can definitely come along or can definitely uh take you a long way um yeah going on to dino and what kind of you know things you can do again like i said um it can be very physically offensive it has hustle as its it has hustle as its ability so you gotta worry about missing <laughs> missing can happen every time you go for anytime you go for like crunch or some other coverage option on it um but Again, you could also make the go with the special side and be able to hit things with, you know, like Dark Pulse or Draco Meteor. So it's not too bad. Definitely not too bad. When I used when I was using it in my video, um, I think I made like a nasty plot set with it and I and I also had to pair it with Spritzy too. Um and it worked out fairly well for me. 
uh, again, because I had speed control with the uh, trick room from it. So it worked out fairly well. And I was able to get Dino to actually put in work for, me, work for my team. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely happy with this mod. Uh, definitely gonna be a fun one to use and I hope you guys are excited for it as well because you know because I mean I, I am definitely excited for this one. This one is so fun to use <laughs> uh, Next we have Vinipede. So I picked up Vinipede because You know honestly looking back on picking Vinipede at the at the time I did because um I kind of I kind of like follow the whole like ladder trend with Vinipede because Vinipede is actually really good on hyper offense teams uh, it's a very fast mod because it's speed boost. You actually can uh, just just keep spike stacking with it, and you know also stall out. Well, not really stall the opponent like that, but you can just keep stack. You can just keep uh, stacking spikes, protecting and whatnot to keep to keep boosting your speed, and then you just get some damage going, or at least just get all your hazards down, and then they can't really do much afterwards. So it's pretty good at that. Um, it's pretty good at again like at again applying pressure with hazards down. Um, also, because of its speed boost, you could poten it could potentially handle uh, stuff like Abra. Like, I believe after plus one, you can actually uh, kill it. Yeah, because Abra goes to, like, 20 speed. Actually, no, 19 speed. It goes 19 speed. So after one speed boost, you'll outspeed speed it. So um, it's very, very cool um, dealing with bonds like that, or dealing with uh, Abra. So this mod can be very clutch in the right, in the right situations. Um... But yeah, and also it's good for hitting fairy types as well, hitting the grass, hitting the uh, grasses too. So it's got some, it's got some really cool stuff on it. The only thing that sucks is that it doesn't have like any kind of setup really. I mean, besides agility, but it doesn't have any kind of like setup, like you know, like storage ants or like or anything like that. So um, pretty much it's just there to get hatchers down and just kind of, kind of fall over. But definitely a fun mod though. I'm definitely glad I picked this up because again, I needed a spiker for my team or just hatchers in general. Like I didn't really want to rely on just Diglett and uh and Vinipede as a as hazard or i mean i just i didn't want to rely on diglett at the time it's just a hazard setter i wanted more hazard so that's why i decided to go with Vinipede to make this team a little bit more aggressive um so at the time when i was making this i still felt like the team was a little too like slow um i felt like i didn't have enough offensive pressure yet so that's why i had so that's why like for the next round i had to pick some more offensive things and also ways to remove uh, hazards from my team because at the time Again, I had Chimchar, Venipede, and Natu. They were all weak to hazards. I didn't like that, so that's why I decided to go with a with removers for my team. And these were the mods I picked up. So I was I was able to get Kabuto and Snivy for round three. Um, round four, my bad. I can't count <laughs> round four. So uh, Kabuto, um, pretty much Kabuto is like double in the way that it has weak that it has weak armor, so you could kind of just. And, it, and I mean, it has bulk for it too, so it has like bulk on it to at least take hits on the physical side and the split up side too. But what I'm trying to say is that um, is that this thing um, with weak armor can be can be pretty good again for more for more uh, off for more for a uh, for a more offensive route. Also, it is a Swiss from user, so I can actually use this as a sweeper and it's, as a sweeper in itself too. So it's got a lot of cool options. It's got knockoff. It's got spin hazards. You name it, this mon can do it. And uh, I was very happy for picking this one. Like I got very lucky picking this one anyway because the less the rest of the spinners that were left at the time I was actually thinking about a couple spinners. I was thinking about Tentacool, <coughs> which got sniped, which got sniped. Um, I was thinking about Drillbird too at one point, which also got picked up. And um, there were a couple other months I was thinking about too, but but te but Tentacool and Drillbird were months I was actually thinking about. Oh yeah, Anorith. I was thinking about that one too. But that also got picked up, so so I couldn't actually get what I. So pretty much, Kabuto was like the best. Uh, was pretty much like the best option out of all those out of all the ones that came out or all the ones that got that they got picked up. So um, again, I'm happy with this one. Can make this as a sweeper with rain dance and just kind of apply pressure with it, or again, just make it a hazard setter and just you know go rock spin, go rock spin, um, rock move, and then have like knock off or something. So so yeah, I'm happy with this one. And what's cool about uh, what's cool about Kabuto is the fact that you can make it mix too. So it has like a pretty good mix set. You can run like Hydro, Ice Beam, Giga Drain, which is really cool as well for hitting the gra for hitting like the grounds and whatnot. Um, and also get recovery back too. So it's a uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's a very very cool mod. So again, I'm happy I picked this one up, and uh, and now I have a spinner for my team. 
Um, not only does Kabuto provide the spinning, but it also is a poison resist for my team as well, and it also is a fire resist, which I badly needed. I really, really needed a fire a fire resist at the time because these guys would get cooked up by Ponyta, and I didn't like that, so that's why I had to get that's why I had to get um I had to get Kabuto. So so yeah, I'm happy with this one. And um and yeah, then we have Snivy. So Snivy was my next pick. And I had to pick this mon because I needed a grass. A grass is very good in the meta like this. Um, a perfect example is Grookey, which, by the way, Grookey, it actually is vi like Grookey actually is legal here in the draft league, but you can't use grassy light on it. So um, it's kind of, I mean, it's still good, obviously, but you have no priority from it or you can't get priority off it. So, so yeah. Um, now, Snivy, on the other hand, Snivy has some very very good qualities to it it's bulky and it has contrary and it has leaf storm just like it's uh brother superior or it's i guess father or whatever father mother whatever um <laughs> anyways it has leaf storm with contrary so this thing can definitely just uh be a really good cleaner and again pair with diglet like i already mentioned you get rid of its checks and snivy just kind of smashes so that's the whole that's the whole idea behind snivy um scarf sets can go crazy with it um sub leech seed can go crazy uh, it has access to defog so i can actually so i actually have a way of removing hazards from my team as well so it's a good mon it's a very solid mon again i'm very happy i picked this one up also has knockoff too so i have utility options in that too so i have two knockoff users which i was very happy for picking up and again a sweeper at, at, and a sweeper at the same time so definitely definitely happy i picked this mon up and uh and yeah so after snivy uh it's the final round and for the final round, I picked up a uh, Why Not, and at the time it was Bidoof. Now, um, now Bidoof at the time I was thinking Bidoof because, or, I mean, I was thinking Bidoof and Why Not because Why Not provides support in being annoying and also locking my opponent into something, into like a move, so I can encore them, lock them in, and that can set up with Bidoof if I wanted to. That was the whole idea behind it. But the more I thought about it. And the more I thought about the rest of the team, now honestly, Beatif was a good mon. I don't know why I picked. Like, like <laughs> I think I think like my whole idea behind it was because I wanted a fire immunity. Um, yeah, I really was. I really was like on that fire on the fire immunity thing because, again, a lot of players picked up some pretty strong fires. Again, Ponyta is a is a very big threat. That mon can definitely like clean up teams. Um, so having, you know, a check to that is still very solid. So again, I know I had Kabuto, but sometimes one isn't enough. So that's why I picked up Litwick. Um, but yeah, but Bidoof though, Bidoof, uh, had a lot of cool stuff going for it. And SD set would have been nice. And also has simple too. So it boosts its attack by plus four or so. I mean, it's, it's attack is doubled. So it goes plus four after a sword stance. Um, again, I, I really wasn't sure if I wanted to keep that mod or not, but I decided against it because I felt like Litwick was just better overall, and also I needed like a I needed a spin blocker for my team too. Um, it was just it was really tough, man. Like Litwick was the Litwick was the only option I was thinking about. I was thinking about another water too, um, but it didn't really work out as planned. So that's kind of what happened. Now Litwick though, there are actually there, there's actually some pretty cool qualities this thing has, um, right? So. You can run a trick room set with it. It's very slow. It's incredibly slow. It's the slowest. It's one of the slowest trick room users in the game, I think. Um, this thing is like god awful slow, but it has some very cool stuff outside that though. Um, it has access to trick, which means you can actually play some trick games with it. Um, it has a lot of other utility options like memento and uh, again trick room I already mentioned. Uh, mystical fire like it, it just has like a lot of cool things in prison as well it just has a lot of like cool uh setup options so i kind of liked it for that but also i liked it for having or for being another trick room for my team so pretty much i have like three trick room mods. um i have the option of you know kind of going that route or i can just go a more offensive route if i really want to but um but yeah this thing is cool man it's cool i'm, I'm not disappointed with picking it I just feel like maybe I should have thought about that a little bit more, like just just a little bit more when it came to my uh, when it came to my trade. Um, but again, I don't think this month's bad. 
And also, I do have the luxury of, of switching up my team if I need to. Or not switching up the team, but like switching out a month if I need to throughout the season. There's like eight weeks of this, so I have plenty of time to find out what works and what doesn't. So, uh, so yeah. Then we have Why Not. So Why Not's the last month, and Why Not, like I was trying, like I was saying in the beginning, uh, this thing has a lot of utility, uh, utility to it. So basically, it's like it's kind of a uh, disrupting kind of month. You can use it as a way to hit opposing mons with counter, so you just hit them back with their with their like contact move. Uh, you have Destiny Bond, which could help with the uh, you know trading if need be. Encore is like the main attraction on Why Not because it allows you it allows the opponent or it allows me to lock the opponent into a move, which gives my which gives my uh, my mon setup opportunity or at least it forces them out. So I like that a lot. And uh, it definitely can be a pretty clutch for any of my setters on my team. Um, it's got charm, so it can lower the attack of stuff. It's got mirror code as well, so it can actually bounce back special attackers too. So it's got a lot of it, got, it has a lot of uh, unique things. It also has safeguard, which can help with uh, which can help with team support too. So again, um, making sure that we uh, not that we don't get status by anything uh, can definitely come in clutch. And then tickles there to lower my opponent's attack and defense. Which again can help up my physical attackers too for my team. So again, it has some cool stuff going for it, and uh, I, that's pretty much why I picked it. Also, it's a psychic type too, so that's another reason why I picked it. So having two psychic resists is still worth it. Um, and again, having a way to actually like set up on them or stop them from setting up is still very clutch as well. So why not? It's definitely an underrated mon. I don't know why this mon was like okay. So actually, I, f I forgot to go by the point system. Um, Let's see, the, the most expensive mons were Diglett and uh, Spritzy. They were both 13 points. And then Natu and Mankey were 5, or not 5, they were uh, they were 9 points. Dino was 8, and then Vinipi was 5. And then uh, then Kabuto was like 8. And uh, Snivy, actually no, it was 9, I think. I think Kabuto was 9. Yeah, Kabuto was 9, and Snivy was 10. And then Why Not, and uh, or Why Not was 4, and then Lit was 5 points. So... So yeah, I feel like I feel like why not should have been higher, just my opinion. But <laughs> but I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a niche mon too. Like it's not a mon that's like guaranteed to do things because I mean the opponent could definitely play can I can definitely outplay it if they know what they're doing around it. Um, but yeah, just definitely a uh, definitely a good mon, and I'm beginning and, and, and again I'm glad I picked this up. So so yeah, that is pretty much that. Don't have much else to say. Again, um, well, really, the only thing I have to say is that this team isn't final. Like, I can still make changes if I need to. Um, at least again later on in the season, because I think for right now I'm done. I don't really want to like do any more. <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty satisfied with what I have at the moment. Um, definitely have some cool stuff in mind, and also my week one opponents already set up for me as well. So um, so yeah, I already have an idea planned out for my opponent. Um, but I'm probably going to just test it out a little bit. Maybe not on ladder, but like maybe with some other people and try and figure out some things. See if I can like find a good core that can handle that team. Because that team is actually very tough to beat. Um, it's going to be very tough for me to get around that team. But again, I'm going to find my way around it. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be that. Hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown of the team and whatnot. And I uh, hope you guys are excited for me to do some draft league stuff. Again, it's, it's definitely been a long time since I've done it. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. So that's going to be that. Hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord, the Bushido Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. And uh, and yeah, again, we're getting very close to my sub goal of 500, just 15 subs to go. So let's just keep that momentum going. And uh, yeah, besides that, be safe, wash your hands, and peace out.